Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video and we have a video tonight guys We're gonna be looking at something that is really interesting um, That we could be seeing for the first time ever uh, With team of the year. So if you guys enjoyed the video today, tell us a thumbs up and we are now Pretty much in full uh, mode of team of the year season. So just as a, a layout the main channel is most likely gonna have uh, morning slash 1 p.m. content videos for team of the year um, and then the nighttime is most likely going to have pack highlights. That's pretty much what we'll do. Uh, so there should be hopefully a lot of blues. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to bringing you guys a lot of content. Also, um, regarding Team of the Year, second channel will probably have a daily uh, player review. Um, and I was speaking as well uh, with another creator uh, that we may do a couple like co-op player reviews. So that would be cool too. And that will be fun as well. So I look forward to that a lot. There's going to be a lot of content coming your guys' way, so I'm going to make sure I get my rest this week. Um, but, obviously, I wanted to bring you guys a video tonight because, well, you're, something important is needed to be said, right? And something I want to talk to you guys about, specifically, uh, is a potential young Team of the Year player or young uh, Team of the Year team. Now, this was tweeted out by PlayStation Plus today, um, and, and basically, all we can tell so far is there's a nominee card. But here's what I think EA is going to do. So traditionally, we get something called a 12th man team of the year vote. And basically what happens in this vote is that the players that were next closest in total votage, EA will give you a five selection vote. It will appear in FIFA Ultimate Team. It's one of those kind of lone players. And you guys as the community can choose who you want to select. And obviously the most popular player wins. So last year, our 12th man was Cristiano Ronaldo, who's 99 rated. And the year before, our 12th man was Neymar. Um, and so the, these were the 12th men the last two years. So we will probably see this one again. But what I think EA is also going to do this year is one of two things, okay? I think we're either going to get some sort of mini young team of the year team, which could include like Joao Felix. I mean, players like that, like that type of player, obviously younger, had a really good year. Not necessarily future stars, but like a genuine, because here's the deal. With Joao Felix or Haaland or um, like even Mbappe, like these are not future stars. These guys are already stars. So it would be a young kind of young team of the year um, player. Future Stars is more of the, the where EA kind of boosts the academy players, the players that are just breaking out in their first year or first season. So th this, this would not really apply to Future Stars. So this actually kind of does make sense. Um, and I think this is actually going to happen. I don't think these cards are going to be as crazy. But I think we're either going to see a scenario where we have a 12th man and a 13th man. And the 13th man is going to be a young team of the year player vote. So maybe they'll give you five choices. Um, I don't know how EA is going to de determine the choices because it's impossible to know at this point. This hasn't even been like tweeted out by EA yet. But I think something really interesting as well that I wanted to show with you guys on the screen. Uh, and I'm going to find the file right here. So basically, this is for the qualifiers. Now, the qualifiers, EA always dictates squad ratings, requirements, things like that. So the recent one says up to any, up to two of any combination of icons or team of the years. Two icons or two team of the years or one icon and one team of the year. Then it says up to two non-icon team of the year slash team of the year 90 plus players. And this is up to four non-icon team of the year 87 to 89 players. It's just for me, this doesn't mean anything, right? This doesn't mean anything like, hey, team of the years are going to be this rating. I just think it's interesting that there was some spe specifications here with specific ratings and they chose to include team of the years there. Now, this could mean nothing. But I, I've just been digging around a little bit and, and, and getting sent some things that I think this is definitely pretty interesting. Um, not to mention this, this same post that we got earlier, there was also a version of this on Instagram for Erling Haaland. And there's been a couple other players that the community has now discovered and kind of seen and checked out. So I think that is actually a pretty interesting like kind of thing to look forward to because it's not just going to be, again, as I said, like a future star player. It's going to be a full throttle team of the year. Now, Future Stars is the number one promo. Uh, well, actually, last year it wasn't. The year before it was. Uh, last year we had headliners two weeks after team of the year. Um, but again, you guys can see, like, these were the types of players. And all of these players, for the most part, were kind of having their breakout or transfer years last year, right? Like, Felix went to Atletico last year. Or was it two years ago? I think it was last year, though. I think it was last year. Uh, maybe it was two years ago, man. Time's flying. I mean, I don't even know if COVID, I don't even know if we can count in 2020 as a year or this whole 
uh, quarantine period because it just doesn't feel like one. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's the point. So, so like, obviously, like, Haaland got a Future Stars last year. I mean, these are the these are the players that are competing now for, like, full Team of the Year spots. At least Haaland is. Um, he won't get it this year. But there's a chance that maybe EA is going to work a 13th man. And I've been saying this for years that we have so much... Uh, we have so much wasted potential with Team of the Year. And I say that because the, the SBCs that they do, right? Like, I think that they can now finally, for once, utilize the weekly objective in the SBC section. I really do. I think that for this Team of the Year upcoming, EA can do a lot of cool things. And I here's what I suggest. Like, obviously, when you have Team of the Year last year, or if we look at it in 19, right? There's no difference, right? You have insane rated players. In my opinion, we're going to probably have four 99 rated players this year. I think they're going to give the whole front three of 99 and probably going to give one of the defenders a 99. I think they're going to go all out this year. Um, so I think what's interesting, right, is that you can't have more of these cards. If you bring out too many team of the years, it's just crazy, right? It's it's too much going on. But I think, you know, here's my, my, my standpoint, right? Two years ago, uh, in FIFA 19, like this card was in my 30 and 0 team. If we take a look at it, um, Versalco was, uh, it was an 87 rated team of the year nominee. If EA can find a way, or it was like a team of the year moments, if EA can find a way, and that was only 87 to make somewhat of like a hybrid or, um, something in between a team of the year card and a, and a nominee or a moments, right? Like not an 87, but you know, let's say they drop an S. Let's who's a player that's really close. Um, who who's a player that's really close, right? Like, let's say that I don't know, and and not that he deserves it, but Renato Sanchez. Like, let's say EA drops a 90 rated Renato Sanchez or an 89, and we get, for example, like a weekly objective, um, Sabitzer, and he's like a 91 or a 92. I mean. There's a lot of potential for that to be a big hit with the community and my, the way I look at it. I'm like, okay, if that stuff happens, that would be revolutionary to the game. And what I'm learning with EA and Team of the Year is that they're always adding things every year. So at the minimum, we're looking at a 12-man squad um, with multiple SBCs. So I just think EA is going to add more. I think they're, they're, they've delayed this thing too long to not bring insane things. And I think that we're going to get a big surprise this year, but I don't have to like hype, hype uh, I don't even know the word for it, but like, I guess think or theorize about this um, because I think this actually is maybe going to be happening that we may actually have a young player of the year vote. Who knows? Maybe we get like three more votes. Maybe it's not just 12th man. Maybe it's a young player of the year. Just like how Suns got the Puskas goal this year. Maybe they do like best goal of the year and EA, you know, this is all things they should be doing, right? Best goal of the year, team of the year card, right? Like, they're not going to get the same boost as a major team of the year because that would be disrespectful. But it would be cool to see that implemented into FIFA. And I think it would be a nice addition. Like, you have, the again, the best goal here. You have Son. You have some of these guys that have scored crazy goals this year. Um, and you, you let the community vote, right? Of Maybe it doesn't have to be the community deciding who actually had the best goal. But they want to vote for who they want the most in FIFA out of the five options. And I think that's something that we as a community can all look forward to. Um... And uh, yeah, so that was like a little thing that I wanted to point out, guys, because that was that's been surfacing around Twitter today, and I think it's quite interesting. As for um, the market, guys, the market today, it's crazy, right? It's crazy, right? So a lot of people on Twitter, I, I saw a couple of comments were saying because I put out a tweet saying I was laughing at everybody panic buying. Um, people thought that I was, I guess they were saying salty because I was late to buying or whatever, right? I, I don't know. Um, I had I had some cards this morning. I'm okay. I don't, I don't really mind if I miss a buy time or if I if I miss a sell time. I, I was just more concerned because a lot of people were buying a lot of cards today. And I laughed because I think it's crazy that people are doing that. Um, and the reason I find it crazy is that we have multiple periods of panic still to come. So to really advise a lot of people... Um, to buy cards today when we got a loading screen just didn't make a lot of sense, right? We saw Ronaldo go up to 1-1 this afternoon, now back to 106.5, right? So these guys, they're settling in a little bit now. The market's not really up or down. It's really just kind of flattening out. We've got rewards this upcoming Thursday. I do think this will push up the market this week. We will see a rise in rewards this week for sure. It won't be in any kind of department of over 500,000 coins because of the uncertainty of Team of the Year. Now, there's a lot of people that are expecting the market on Friday night to go up a lot. And I think it will, but I think it only will in certain departments. Any card that's out of packs, I think is going to fly on Friday night because we've got a lot of safe packs coming into the game. I am a little concerned on Friday 
I'm not going to say for Varane because I think Varane is going to go up regardless because I think so many people are waiting to buy him. He's still 140, right? And this guy's been 180 to 200 religiously. But there are some golds that I'm very concerned about because I know a lot of people, and we talked about this morning, are going to be opening packs. So there's some golds that may not survive the genuine supply that we are about to receive. This could happen on some cards like Salah, but even or, or Mane, but even lower tier cards, like kind of some of the 85 to 89 meta golds, these guys may no longer be meta golds anymore. They may just die off because we're just seeing sheer supply coming onto this game. And that's what I think is a little worrying with Friday because, again, as I said earlier, if they do attackers first, this is something that we do have to be concerned about and we have to look into. There's going to be a lot of cards coming onto this game. So really, if you want to play it safe on this upcoming Friday, for me, I think the best bet or the best kind of, I guess, value play would be to pick up anything that's really out of packs in any sort of panic window. Um, you know, I think that's probably the way that we would look at it and kind of see that would be the best value for you guys to make some quick coins uh, and some quick cash this weekend. Um, now, again, they're probably going to do it positionally. So that is going to be interesting as well. We probably won't get like a full, full team um, of Team of the Year's impacts until uh, probably Wednesday. And so anybody doing upgrade packs, a lot of people have been asking me, when am I going to start buying any rares? Because I'm going to probably do a lot of Bundesliga packs. I probably won't start buying them until the end of the weekend just because I don't think upgrade packs are going to really be out. And I think we'll have so much supply coming, you know, on Saturday, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whether it's lightning rounds or saved up packs, that all these rares are going to be really cheap anyways at that point in time because we probably won't get league upgrades till later in the week. And I guess for me at this point, I'm just praying that EA don't do it kind of like they did last year, which is with team of the season, guys, they didn't drop good upgrade packs to the last day. And that would be a pain because obviously the best part about team of the year is grinding so many of these upgrade packs um, and obviously trying to get one. So yeah, that's going to be it for me tonight, guys. I'm signing off. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later. Peace.